Between Syracuse goes games. on to win 85 to 68. Jameen Peterson, the star for Providence. And for Syracuse, a nice contribution from Arinze Otawaku. Chris Joseph, a season high 23 points. Head coach Jim Beheim now at the podium for Syracuse. We needed to get uh, the ball inside. I thought AO was uh, you know, really active out there on offense and defense tonight, uh, especially defense. I thought he was uh, the most active he's been all year. That's a, a huge key for us going forward. I don't think he's been having the kind of year we need from him, and he was, he was very active tonight. Ricky came back with a big second half. Chris has been playing uh, extremely well all year. And teams that extend their defense on give him an opportunity to get to the basket. Uh, I thought, you know, offensively we played very well in the second half. Defensively, uh, I thought we did a good job. Providence is a very, very good offensive team. They're, I think, leading the league in scoring or close to it. And uh, I thought we did a good job for, for most of the game defensively. Uh, Wesley uh, was hurt a little bit on the fall. He's probably could have played. Uh, if the game had changed at all, we, when he came out, we extended the lead. Uh, if it had changed, he could have gone back in. But uh, I felt uh, he wasn't uh, close to near where he full strength. So we were able to survive without him. I thought everybody picked it up and did a tremendous job without him being in there. And uh, you know, we were able to rest him and we have a day off tomorrow. Hopefully, you know, hopefully he'll be back uh, full strength. Uh, you know, at the end, by Thursday or Friday, hopefully. But uh, it was a good win. Uh, Promise a very good offensive team, and uh, you have to be very alert when you play against them. they got a lot of good passers, good shooters, and they're a difficult team to defend. Questions? Well, I think he's, you know, is, again, when teams extend and give him opportunities uh, to get to the basket, that's what he does best, uh, you know. And I thought uh, I thought the combination we had out there, Ricky was very good in the second half. He had a lot of good passes. He got the ball to AO, and he, he should have had 12, 14 points himself. He missed the four free throws. He missed a couple of layups. But uh, I thought we, our guards did a good job of getting those guys the ball and uh, letting them, uh, you know, score inside, which is what we needed to do uh, in this game. But, uh, again, uh, Chris has uh, been really steady all year. Um, you know, he's shooting the ball better. Probably made a nice pull-up jump shot. He's real close on the three over there. And, uh, you know, I think he's getting better. He's still, you know, he's a sophomore. He's, he's supposed to Syracuse off to a 22-1 and start this year. Jim Beheim in an awfully you know, decent mood for Coach Beheim. Not, not as good as Georgetown game mood, but it's still pretty good. He wasn't smiling, but you know, it's a start. <laughs> hey, he wasn't angry. But one of the big things to be pleased with, he, he kind of mentioned there, that second half start. They went on a 22-5 to run, and they pretty much quieted the Providence crowd. Yeah, it completely the silenced the, uh, the Friars players. When you come out to that sort of a start, and it's something Syracuse has done all year long, it really just dashes the hopes of the other team.